welcome to Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Center for Agriculture Nanotechnology. And we are in the experimental field of maize where IFCO nano urea and conventional urea is being evaluated. And we have taken one acre of uh, maize and uh, we put to 50, uh, uh, half an acre with uh, IFCO nano urea and remaining half acre with the conventional urea made a comparison. And uh, urea is a highly used to full fertilizer and people are using urea for the past uh, 60, 70 years. And the use efficiency hardly exceeds 30 to 35 percent. And the remaining 65 to 70 percent of the urea get lost because of the volatility, bleaching and other losses. And the alternative to uh, uh, urea, uh, IFCO nano urea was introduced in 2021 and the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University played a very important role in evaluating IFCO nano urea. And uh, TNAU, that is Tamil Nadu Agriculture University being the torch bearer of uh, nanotechnology and we have been working for the past uh, uh, 12 years uh, in uh, nanotechnology and for the past 3 years IFCO nano urea being evaluated. And uh, urea uh, commonly used uh, as a basal fertilizer and uh, top dressing as well. In, um, we made a comparison that uh, in the right side you will s you see IFCO nano urea applied plot where 50 percent of the uh, fertilizer was applied as a conventional fertilizer. Remaining 50 percent of the recommended dose was applied in the form of uh, IFCO nano urea. IFCO nano urea is uh, being sold out in the market as half a liter bottle half a liter dissolved in 125 liters of water and uh, spray was given two times, uh, 20 and 40 days. And you could see IFCO nano urea applied uh, maize plants. It is uh, around 65 days old now and it reached the height, uh, maximum height. The tasseling and silking has already started. And uh, we could see the growth of the plant is in the range of uh, uh, 3 to 3.15 meter. Uh, that is IFCO nano urea. And here we should note, 50% of the fertilizer was supplied as a basal with conventional urea and remaining 50% of the uh, fertilizer was substituted with uh, two rounds of uh, foliar spray of IFCO nano urea that is half a liter dissolved in uh, 125 liters of water and the spray was given. And uh, that is the way this particular uh, uh, half an acre was um, uh, fertilized. And the, the left side to me, it is uh, uh, conventional urea and we could hear uh, uh, the recommended dose for uh, uh, hybrid maize is 250 kg nitrogen uh, per hectare. 125 kg of nitrogen was supplied as a basal and the two drop dressing, remaining 125 kg of nitrogen was supplied in two drop dressing. And here you could see the height of the plant is ranging from 3 to 3.15 meters, same as that of uh, IFCO nano urea applied uh, uh, plot. And uh, here also the silking and uh, uh, tasseling has uh, happened and uh, almost uh, the uh, field is uh, similar. And uh, this particular experiment, there are lots of questions raised related to IFCO nano urea that is being evaluated in these uh, plots. And uh, one of the questions very frequently asked at the national level is how exactly IFCO nano urea enter into the plant system, absorbed by the plants and uh, how the use efficiency get increased. And this field, we are testing uh, N15. N15 is a tracer or is a staple isotope of nitrogen and we introduced it in some of the plots because we cannot apply N15 everywhere because one crumb cost about 55,000 rupees. In some of the uh, plots within the field, we applied N15 as a foliar spray uh, equivalent as that of um, uh, nano urea that was applied and we, we are going to observe how it is transferred. And we, we also taken uh, soil sample, uh, leaf sample to study whether there is a microbial changes as a, as a result of introduction of uh, IFCO nano urea. And here in the left side, you show the uh, conventional urea, the urea which is kept in front of me. Uh, this is a fertilizer, we used it. As we all know, uh, it is uh, sold out in 45 kilos bag and uh, each bag cost about 265 rupees, Indian rupees uh, for the farmers and 90% uh, subsidy rate. The one bag of urea synthesis cost about 2,600 to 3,000 rupees uh, for the benefit of the farmer. The government is uh, subsidizing the urea price by 90% and available to the farmer at the rate of 265 rupees per uh, bag of urea. And in this case, uh, IFCO nano urea, which is uh, actual cost, no subsidy involved. 
and here the cost of the IFCO nano urea is 240 rupees per bottle and uh, that is uh, you know uh, the spray is given uh, two times uh, 20 and 40 days after sowing and um, uh, here one bottle is dissolved in 125 liters of water and one ek spray is given two times spray to be done. Of course, uh, uh, spraying would be a difficult uh, task for the farmers that is why in uh, TNAU has also tested a validated uh, drone spray uh, to, uh, to promote uh, foliar uh, feeding of nitrogen. Uh, that is what we have done. We are going to measure uh, many parameters uh, to uh, say that how best if Konana area uh, uh, can yield better or uh, comparable to conventional form of urea. So, we are going to take measurement because the field uh, um, you know one acre divided into two half half acre with if konana urea half acre with normal or conventional urea and we make a comparison at the end of the crop we are going to organize a field day so that the data would be convincing to all segment of people that's what i want to say about this particular field and thank you very much for watching this field experiment details at this point Thank you.